<laughs> Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Deborah Taylor T and with Magnum, and we're going to talk about Magnum is available for adoption through the Barktown Rescue. That's right. Deborah is here with us each week, having various different dogs that are available for adoption with Barktown. Magnum is actually your foster. Yes, Gary. Um, we took in a little dachshund at first to foster because there was no, they did not have the facility in Boston, that old Boston school that is uh -huh. now Barktown Rescue. So we, in order to keep her alive, we took her in. And uh, not long later, not long after that, we adopted her. Uh, then they asked us to foster Magnum because they were getting the building inspected and needed a place. And my husband wanted a Rottweiler. Uh -huh. So we <laughs> took Magnum on as a foster and he's been an awesome dog. I think he really just needs a forever home where he has a lot of room, uh, room to run and, and play. He gets along great with the dachshund. He gets along great with people. Um, very sweet natured dog for mm -hmm. a Rottweiler. He looks pretty intimidating, and which is a good security factor. Right. But he is a, he's a very sweet dog. Yeah, he looks it. And he's very full of energy, as you can see. Yes, right? indeed. He, right he is full of energy, without a doubt. He uh, loves to run around and, and uh, uh, play. Play. And jump and jump take, and yeah, play. Run around. And he's, he's about two years old, completely housebroken. Um, oh, good boy. So he's still got a lot of puppy in him, where he, <laughs> he likes to play and he. He oh, likes, like <laughs> he does, he likes to have his little back end scratched. <laughs> Most dogs do because yes. they can't really reach it, you know? Yeah, so. that feels good. Yeah, yeah. So as we said, Magnum is available through Barktown Rescue. You can find out more about Magnum and the other dogs that are available at barktownrescue.org. <laughs> Barktown is a no-kill shelter right here in Bardstown. And as we said, Deborah is actually fostering Magnum because a lot of people do foster. So if you're interested in possibly fostering some of the animals as well. They'd be happy to talk to you about that too, right? Absolutely. There are so many ways that people can help uh, Barktown Rescue stay a no-kill facility and help more and more animals. You can either volunteer your time to help at the rescue, taking dogs in and out, ex you know, so they can exercise and, and get outside. Um, you can bring one into your home. When we have so many dogs, and even though the school is very large, the new facility is, mm -hmm. is large, uh, there are so many animals that need, um, need homes, uh, whether it's temporary or long-term. You can contact Barktown Rescue at barktownrescue.org um, or call, I think it's 833-BARK. Park. Um, uh, two, 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 seven, five. Uh, but just uh, check us out online. They've all the dogs that are up for adoption are online. Come out to the shelter and check them out. We really appreciate it. We've got an adoption event on Saturday, September eighteenth, mm -hmm. right. nineteenth, September nineteenth, July, 19th, July, <laughs> July nineteenth. <19th. laughs> Yes. Gosh, what day is it? Um, uh, this Saturday, 11 to 2 at Walgreens in Bardstown. That's at 824 North 3rd Street, the corner of John Rowan and North 3rd in Bardstown. Uh, 11 to 2, they're going to have a few, few of the dogs there. They're going to have the binder with all the photos of the animals. Um, come check us out. They've got t-shirts for sale. It's a fundraiser. and and. Uh, can talk to someone about it. Fill out an application if you're interested in Magnum or, or another one of our dogs. Uh, there's also a yard sale and bake sale this weekend, Friday and Saturday, at the rescue. Uh, lots of items have been donated for the yard sale. And Fantastic. It was very successful before the grand opening of the facility. We, uh, or at the grand opening of the facility, it really did help us raise some funds because it takes money to take care of these, right. to take care of these guys, feed them right. and, and uh, keep them medicated. Healthy and everything. And that's, that's right. right. Vet care and everything. Well, he's, he's checking things he out. As you can see, yes. he's interested in. Magnum is excited <laughs> and we're excited to hopefully find a home for Magnum, a permanent yes. home for Magnum as well. Yes. Go to barktownrescue.org, get some more information where it was 502 833 I think it's 833 BARK, 2275. Great. Right. 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 So you can also go to their facility. It's the old Boston School in Nelson County, and they have a great facility 
for all these different animals. So 895 thank you. Petersburg Road in Boston, oh, the old Boston school. They've made it into a great, great facility for these guys. And they're anxious to meet you and get their permanent homes all set up. So thank you, Magnum. I've been talking with Deborah <laughs> Taylor T with the Barktown Rescue. Again, barktownrescue.org. This is Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.